נהפוך אותם לאיי חורבות. אני אומר לתושבי עזה, צאו משם עכשיו, כי אנחנו נפעל בכל מקום ובכל העוצמה. On October the 7th, 2023, the speaker of the Knesset tweeted that, quote, Now we all have one common goal, erasing the Gaza Strip from the face of the earth. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. הכל סגור. אנחנו נלחמים בחיות אדם, ואנחנו נוהגים בהתאם. On 12 October 2023, President Isaac Herzog made clear that Israel was not distinguishing between militants and civilians in Gaza, stating in a press conference to foreign media in relation to Palestinians in Gaza, over one million of whom are children, quote, it's an entire nation out there that is responsible. It's not true, this rhetoric about civilians not aware, not involved. It's absolutely not true. And we will fight until we break their backbone. To create such a huge pressure on Gaza, that Gaza will become an area where people cannot live. אנחנו הולמים באויבינו בעוצמה חסרת תקדים. אנחנו עכשיו מגלגלים בעצם את נכבת עזה, אם תרצה, נכבת עזה. The Israeli president is one of many Israelis to have handwritten messages on bombs to be dropped on Gaza. It is simply an ISIS type ideology that wants to eliminate us off the ground and therefore they need to be eliminated off the ground. Israeli Minister of Energy and Infrastructure, tweeting on 13th of October 2023, Israel Katz stated, All the civilian population in Gaza is ordered to leave immediately. We will win. They will not receive a drop of water or a single battery until they leave the world. No electrical switch will be turned on, no water hydrant will be opened, and no fuel truck will enter until the Israeli abductees are returned home. Humanitarianism for humanitarianism. And no one will preach us morality. On October the 8th, 2023, Bezalel Smotrich stated at a meeting of the Israeli cabinet that, quote, we need to deal a blow that hasn't been seen in 50 years and take down Gaza, end of quote.